There's an old saying in options trading that goes, one man's theta is another man's gamma. And if you're an option seller, understanding what this saying means is pretty much non-negotiable. Gamma is what makes options explode in value when there's a big movement in the underlying stock. And in reality, giving someone exposure to gamma is what you're getting paid for every time you're selling an option. And it's the thing that if you don't really understand it, it risks absolutely ruining your trades. So let's talk about what gamma actually is, how it behaves, what it tells us about our market risks, and how to use our understanding of it to structure better trades. So gamma measures the rate at which delta changes as the underlying stock moves. Delta is the Greek that tells you how much the option price changes as the stock moves by $1. And gamma is the Greek that tells you how much delta itself is actually changing by as the underlying stock moves around. So actually, gamma is a second order Greek, which means it tells us about how a change in a Greek impacts our option prices, whereas all the other Greeks talk about how something more first principles impacts our option price. So let's do a quick example. Let's say you own an option with a delta of 30 and a gamma of 0.04. What this would mean is that if the stock went up by $1, our delta exposure would increase from 0.3 to 0.34. That change or that extra little bend in the curve of our PL, that is what gamma is measuring. Quick recap to make sure we're super clear on this. Delta is measuring how much our option changes for every $1 change in share price. And then gamma is measuring how much our delta itself is actually changing in that situation. So let's say we had a delta of 0.3 and a gamma of 0.04 and the stock's trading at 200 bucks. And instead we're trading an option with 30 delta or 0.3. In this circumstance, if the stock went up by a dollar, we would see that our option contract would increase in value by 30 cents and our delta would change from 0.3 to 0.34. That little jump in our delta, which then changes our future delta as the stock continues to move, that is gamma. The more gamma that your position has, the more exposure you have to these rapid changes in price movement. So why should you care about gamma if you're an options seller? Well, it's because gamma is what option buyers are actually paying you for. Think about it. People buy options because they want access to convexity. They want to get that outsized payoff if there's a big move in the underlying stock. They want an asymmetric payoff. And that explosion in value is caused by gamma. And it's because people are willing to pay for that exposure that the variance risk premium itself exists. That spread between implied and realized volatility that makes option selling as a strategy viable. And as an option seller, that's what we're monetizing. We are selling exposure to gamma in exchange for theta, and we are betting that our theta gains will outweigh our gamma losses. Hopefully we're on the same page about that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. But let's move on for now and talk about how gamma changes across the term structure. So the first thing to know is that gamma is highest at the money. And that's because at the money options are sitting on the edge. $1 up and they're in the money. $1 down and they're back out of the money. That knife's edge makes delta move fast. Now, the second thing to know is that gamma increases as expiration approaches. Shorter dated options have more gamma exposure than longer dated options do. When there's only one day left to expiration, you're either in the money or out of the money. There's not really that much room left for ambiguity. But if your options have 100 days to expiration left and you're a little in the money, eh, there's still a lot of time left. You could easily end up out of the money or way deeper in the money. It's, there's a lot more room for what variability comes in the future. So as a seller, if you're selling short dated options, you're taking on the most amount of gamma risk. And that's why those trades decay the quickest, have the highest theta exposure. You make a higher percentage of the option premium quicker if nothing happens, but you also take on more risk if there is a big move because the expiration is so short and there's so much gamma. And it's this relationship between gamma and theta that most new option sellers miss. Gamma is not free and theta is not free. They are inverses of each other. If you want exposure to gamma, you are going to pay theta. If you want to collect theta, you are going to have exposure to gamma. There's no way around it. They are literally inversely related to each other. And this creates the trade-off that makes option selling and option buying what it is, right? In option selling, a lot of the times we're making some slow money pretty consistently, and then occasionally we'll have this big move happen where we lose some money really fast. On the flip side, when you're buying options, 
a lot of times you're going to lose money really slowly. You're going to consistently be losing a bit, losing a bit. And then once in a while, you're going to get a big move and have a big payoff. So every time that you go and sell an option, the thing to keep in mind is that you are getting paid for taking the other side of someone else's convexity, someone else's option buying position. Most of the strategies that I run and that we built in Predicting Alpha are based on the idea that implied volatility overstates realized volatility. It's a well-known concept called the variance risk premium. In plain options English, we believe that theta gains will outweigh gamma losses in situations where it makes sense that people are willing to pay a premium for a particular kind of exposure. If you want to check out some of those strategies, you can get a free trial in the description of this video. Seven days completely free. Go ahead, steal all of our boring strategies that actually make money. They're pretty cool. And if you actually like them, you can stick around and use the tools. So here is what you need to remember about gamma. Gamma is the rate of change of delta. It is the thing that makes options explode in value. It is highest at the money and right before expiration. When you're selling options, that's what being short gamma is. And gamma is the reason that the market overpays for protection and the reason that you're able to generate returns as an option seller. As you dive deeper into option selling strategy, you're gonna start seeing the word gamma everywhere. So make sure you understand it and keep an eye out for it because it's really important. And I don't mean to keep harping on it, but seriously, if you are an option seller, we have built the best community, the best platform for traders just like you. Click the link in the description, take a free trial, shoot me an email, Let's work together and make some really cool strategies happen for you. Don't trade blind, everyone. Trade with an edge, and I'll see you in the next video.